New York grilled cheese, and I absolutely love it. And when everything goes wrong, the one thing we go to is the grilled cheese sandwich. Feeling very cheesy today. I know that was a cheesy statement. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Boca Bites. I'm over here at New York Grilled Cheese right across from Meinster Park in Boca Raton. Come check it out. these news articles on the wall saying how good it's supposed to be so, so expectations heading into um, I'm expecting it to be you know pretty good you know everybody loves cheese right everybody from Boca especially our FAU students yeah. we'd love to have them here for breakfast yeah they want to get their brain started before exams mm -hmm. get those you know cheesy calories in there get them thinking for their exams and their projects or uh, how many calories exactly Uh, you know, this we started about five years ago. Right. We have a location in Fort Lauderdale, Wilton Manors, yeah. um, and we just we just wanted to do something different. We just wanted to do, you know, grilled cheese, which is not really anything new. It's not a new concept, right. but we kind of reinvented and bring a whole new life into it. And exactly. you kind of see that popping up in several places, several states, but we wanted to give it its own uh, kind of like signature look and right. taste. That's what you, you see our waffle marks. Right. We actually waffle press all the grilled cheeses. So it's not just, it gives you the opportunity to dip it in whatever side it comes in. Our other our grilled cheeses usually come with a tomato bisque. Yeah. Um, but the breakfast ones, now some of them come with the, uh, what is it, the chorizo sausage gravy. Chorizo sausage. So rather than, you know, a southern style sausage gravy, we use a chorizo turkey that we make in house. So it's actually turkey, it's not even pork. really good it was kind of like the sandwich that we had was flavors that I kind of wouldn't have thought would have gone together so it was like pulled pork and grilled cheese and pickles and the soup that came with it was really sweet and it was it was something I've never had before but it was something that I would definitely have again yes I'll probably come back here again of cheese here. I mean, what exactly is this wheel of cheese? It's actually to solve the problem you had. A lot of customers are just like you, so they're, they're not sure. They see all these products, yeah. they get confused. So we tell them, you know what? Why don't you just spin the wheel of cheese? The wheel of cheese. The meat packing district. Oh uh, yeah, you just landed on one of the most highest selling uh, grilled cheeses that we have, especially if you like beef. Yeah. This one is being made with a beef brisket, caramelized onions, horseradish, chives, cheddar cheese, and our secret holy aioli sauce. It's pretty good. It's secret. secret. So I can't, I can't even ask what that is. You can, but we'll have to kill you when we're done. So. <laughs> wow. We have three bread options for Bill Jerome. Oh, it's the famous uh, sourdough, the white country loaf, and the oatmeal wheat. Um, I had the Manhattan grilled cheese, and it was very, very good. Um, it's basically like your regular grilled, regular cheese, mac and cheese, with like a buttery bread on top. I don't know, but it worked out very well. And then you have the bisque with it, and it's just the perfect mashup, the perfect bisque. Okay, so we got uh, Luxon over here, and he's making a bunch of grilled cheeses. So build your own menu. You can actually, if you're not satisfied with any one of our options, you can go through the, the back of the menu, it shows the build your own, and you can put together all of the ingredients that we have and make your own masterpiece, essentially. That's what Luxon here is doing right now. Um, I would totally um, recommend this to a friend, uh, to anyone that needs a little pick-me-up or they're very hungry and during the day or at night, this would be totally like worth your while. 
Um, yeah, I give this a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I, I like to work out, I like to live a healthy yeah. lifestyle. I, if I want my cheat to be worth it, and I want my calories not to be spent on crap, excuse my, yeah. my words, I, I want to have a good quality, high calorie, because that's a cheat day, and just enjoy it. Yeah, like, and once you do it, you're like, okay, good, I'm ready to start a new week getting lean and fit again. Deliveries. That's probably it. There we go. So this is the Harlem jalapeno. And this is the New York fries. And this is the breakfast chicken and waffle milk. And this is the secret milk that you've spun on. This is the Harlem jalapeno. One hot. Now, I've never tried to combine pizza and grilled cheese, but if you were to implement that, this would be the perfect thing for me. Great. Hey, I tried it out. The second was good. The second was good. The real, the original buttons. Your original. You know, I've had, I've had a good um, inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> it's those late nights sometimes, like, what am I gonna have lunch? So that was a great meal over at New York Grilled Cheese. Make sure you check out the next episode of Boca Bites on FAU Our Television. Get your cheesy on. Check out New York Grilled Cheese located at 493 North Federal Highway, Boca Raton, Florida 33432. Check it out.